Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. In my last Burke uh, video, uh, Burke Mill video, I talked about a collaboration between Richard from Making Something From Nothing and Chirpy from Chirpy's Tinkering uh, that I needed to give. And I think I showed the, the steel give that uh, was on the machine. Um, that the angles weren't cut right, it didn't fit, it was cobbled together. Uh, just a piece of steel uh, and obviously you know we need something either like cast iron uh, or uh, bronze uh, for as a sliding surface so that we don't eat up the ways. So um, Richard said hey I, I can uh, provide some cast iron for the project just tell me where to send it and Chirpy says I can um, I can uh, make that for you. So my son Zachary and I we took uh, several measurements and uh, uh, made a drawing and uh, printed one out in plastic uh, just to, as a sanity check, make sure everything was good. It fit like a glove, so I sent the, uh, the, the ruined gib, the plastic gib, my drawing, and the knee gib, which had good angles on it to Chirpy so that he can indicate off of them, and uh, he made a gib. So in the description below the video, I'm going to put links to both Richard's and Chirpy's uh, uh, channel. Uh, go check those videos out. Uh, I think you'll find them uh, entertaining and, and great. And uh, look at the other stuff they have on their channel. They got some great stuff. Uh, very, very creative fellas. But, so I got in the mail last night. Uh, this, this box here has come from Chirpy. And I uh, haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure what's all in there. I, I uh, think it's too heavy for just a give. So let's, uh, let's check it out and see what it is. And we'll bring the camera over to the bench and let's let's see what we got okay so here's the box let's uh get out my trusty box cutter and see what we got here hopefully I'll keep this in frame and some styrofoam packing some bubble wrap and, oh, it looks like there's goodies here. We'll set these out on the table and get the box out of the way. Sharpie done a good job of uh, cleaning all that up. All right, so let's get this box out of the way here. And uh, let's start by this package right here. This looks like the Gibbs. Okay, remember, recall I said that... Uh, Zach and I had printed a plastic gib and this was our sanity check. This is the knee gib that I sent him and you see it still has most of the scraping marks on it so the knee at least hasn't had a lot of use. Oh, then there's a little wear at the ends and and uh, and then this is the gib that was messed up. You see it's got welds drilled and uh, holes drilled all over it and stuff. And this must be it was like Christmas, man. Just like Christmas. Look at there. And uh, Chirpy's uh, put a set screw in it to set it up. He's scraped, look at that, he scraped uh, both bearing edges. We'll compare it here. Man, I tell you what, that looks, that looks just like the other one. Same thickness. Beautiful job. Chirpy, thank you so much, dude, man. You are the bomb. And again, I encourage you guys to go check out this video where he made this gib. It is a, 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 it's a great video. And I tell you, he made it with a shaper. And I don't know about you guys, but man, I tell you what, that thing is hypnotic, right? I think I got to have one of those. So let's see what else Chirpy sent here. Um... All right, Chirp. Chirp, he's uh, he's definitely wrapped everything up real good. Ah, there's a cutter, a three-quarter inch bore. Nice. There's another one. Wow, Chirpy, thanks a lot, buddy. Cause uh, you know I have zero tooling for this machine. I've have had a couple offers. Uh, I have to make an arbor for these, but man, I tell you what. That is cool. Thanks, thanks so much, Chirpy. Let's open this one here. Maybe I think my knife is getting a little dull. As long as I don't lose a finger, right? Let's see here. I'm excited. Look, I'm shaking. Either that or the six cups of coffee I had. 
another three quarter inch bore cutter. Another one, that's nice and sharp. Awesome. Man, I tell you what, this is great. Uh, the Chirpy has really, really helped me out here. Let's see what's in this one. Yeah. Chirpy, you wrap like my wife does on Christmas, man. <laughs> awesome. Another three quarter inch bore cutter. Nice. Awesome. Chirpy, you rock, buddy. This is excellent. Yeah, I'm telling you, you wrap like my wife. <laughs> That's a good thing. The, kid, the kids hated it. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Ooh, there's another cutter. That looks like a one inch. Awesome. Awesome. Man, Chirpy, you rock, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Sorry about that. So there's another three quarter inch bore cutter and another one. So, man, I tell you what, Chirpy. Uh, I guess I'll, hopefully these are all in frame, you know. Uh, Chirpy, thanks so much for the cutters. Like I said, I didn't have any, any, uh, any tooling for the machine other than one uh, collet. Uh, but I tell you what, let me uh, let me get the saddle over here and let's kind of look at this uh, uh, this new gib that Chirpy made and and let's see how it fits. So we'll bring you in here in just a minute. Okay, so I have the saddle casting off of the uh, Burke Mill over here. This is the plastic gib that I printed, okay? And you see how that fits in there. Fits, angle fits great. A little bit of uh, space up here to allow for wear. So it's good shape. So now let's uh, check out the uh, gib that Chirpy made. F fits down there. The angle is right. I got a bit of a higher space here. Um, now that's correctable actually because the uh, could be the positions that I gave him for these holes weren't quite right. Like I said, I was just measuring off of this to try to get. But I think that I can um, <clears throat> I can elongate these holes a little bit. Right, even though that looks identical, um, and it measures the same too, so I don't quite understand why one would fit and one wouldn't. But then again, uh, I have to re remember though that the 3D printed one did print just a hair smaller than the actual measured size. Where uh, I think we, um, I think Zach needs to do some calibration to his printer um, for that. But let's uh, let's go put it on the mill and see what we have. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go put the saddle on the mill. I'm going to put this part in place and we'll check and see if we got any in play, if it tightens it up uh, and that sort of thing. And like I said, I'm not going to be very aggressive with it because these parts have not been cleaned up yet. So still got to clean them up. And I've been waiting on that. And I, I knew this uh, uh, from talking to Chirpy, I knew this was going to be a pretty quick turnaround uh, to hear him talk. So I just waited on that. And I want video of disassembly. Why? Because uh, I'm a new guy. Look, and I realize that uh, I've gotten a lot of subscribers in the last <clears throat> couple weeks, and I just want to uh, I just want to remind uh, mostly my new subscribers that I am a uh, I'm a computer guy by trade. That's what I do. I do uh, computer networking um, and network infrastructure and that sort of stuff, uh, 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 network administration and, and that sort of thing. And machining is a hobby for me. So uh, I, this is a learn as I go experience uh, with a lot of help from people like Chirpy and Richard and Art Eckstein and and uh, Tubal Kane and, and the list just goes on and on and on and on. There's too many to uh, too many to name. So uh, let me stop blathering here and uh, we'll get the camera set up and we'll we'll come over and look at uh, the saddle on the Burke and see what we got. Okay, so we're over at the Burke Mill. Like I said, I haven't torn this apart yet because uh, I want to wait. I want video of that. 
maybe more for me uh, than you guys, but I will share it. All right, so uh, I got some oil here. Let's, uh, I've cleaned this up a bit. Let's, uh, let's get some oil here on the sliding surfaces. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's loosely put this together here. All right, there might be some shaking because, uh, you know, I'm sitting on a couple saw horses. I haven't built the bench yet. Try the give up in there, fits nice. We'll get the uh, two nuts on. Hopefully my hands aren't too much in the way. Like I said, I'm not going for adjustment or anything here. I just want to see the fit. Remember the other one uh, wouldn't take out um, any of the backlash. It would left plenty of wiggle in the table. So if uh, I measured right and if cuppy, uh, chirpy cut right, all right, these up just a little bit. Just taking them in little bites. All right, plays out of the table now. <clears throat> Might have a little much, like I said, there's uh, gonna have to be some adjustment here. <clears throat> I still, Still need to loosen that up just a little bit, I think. You know, um, I now it's clear what this, uh, why the set screw is in here. That's not the right size wrench, but. <clears throat> Got her locked on there. <laughs> let me uh, let me rubber mallet here and let me bump it. <clears throat> so this is going to take some adjustments. I, I know what the um, a set screw. There it went. Oh yeah, that. There's no play. I think I had it too far. There's probably no wear up here, and I had it wedged all the way back. Oh yeah, there's no play. That's pretty nice, man. I tell you what. Um, oh yeah, man. I that feels good. Good. Chirpy, you done great. I'm going to bring the camera in here and we'll zoom in over here on this edge where you can see it. And uh, we'll talk about that for just a minute. I got some ideas that uh, I think I could do to correct that. And it's nothing Chirpy done. Uh, Chirpy done a great job. Uh, it's my measurement. So I'll uh, bring you right back in over here. Okay, so I have the gib in. This slides freely, you know, so the, the angles are right. Uh, I think maybe what I done was um, I may have give too wide of a measurement across here for Chirpy. So I'm not real sure how to correct that. Uh, at first I thought it was because of the uh, <clears throat> the uh, you know the holes that where I called out the hole locations, but they're probably okay. I think some needs to come off the inside here, <clears throat> so I'm not real sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Chirpy and a couple folks for some suggestions. But look, it uh, it's very smooth. Um, it's nice, you know. So uh, I think uh, for having uh, no gib and a, and a rank amateur taking measurements, we got close, but I'm gonna have to get a little better than that. So I'll reach out to Chirpy and. And see see what uh, see what the suggestion is. Whether if I send it back up there and see if he wants to shave some of that off, or if there's something that I can do, or maybe heck, maybe that's okay because it's bearing on both surfaces. 
right? And uh, I got plenty of stud here to, to connect on. So actually that might just be okay. Just gonna stick down a, or just gonna be down a little further and uh, bear on a little bit less of the, of the uh, dovetail in this angled side over here. So uh, let me get the, I got a couple more things I'm gonna say and, uh, and then uh, we're gonna call this video done. Okay guys, what can I say? Chirpy, brother, you done an awesome job, man. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I hope, um, and I, all kidding aside, man, I, I hope I, I can learn this stuff and, uh, and uh, be as good as you and some of these other guys. And I appreciate the work that you've done for me. So um, here's my question. I'm, I'm bearing on most of the surface. I think the gib will work as is. Um, uh, but now for you more experienced guys out there, do you think that... Uh, uh, should take a little bit off of it to, um, you know, to bring it a little bit more in contact. Just a thought, but actually, I, I think as is, I think it's going to work work pretty good. So, hey, Richard, thanks thanks again for supplying the cast iron, man. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, you've been good to me for a lot of years now uh, on YouTube, and and I hope I can repay the favor, Chirpy. I hope I can do something uh, uh, to to repay the favor from you too. So uh, other than that, hey guys, if these uh, videos are entertaining or, or uh, helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And uh, thanks for uh, all the comments and the emails. I especially want to thank uh, the three or four folks who have contacted me that have uh, um, these uh, Burke, uh, small Burke benchtop mills. Um, the pictures that you've sent and the correspondence has been wonderful. Thank you so very much. So other than that, have a blessed day.